beginning of the new year isn't looking beautiful for some areas in Midland, but Keep Midland Beautiful is hoping that it's going to change. Disappointing, um, especially when you you know, know where or feel like you know where it's come from. The executive director of Keep Midland Beautiful, Doreen Walmack, says she is sad to see the amount of trash on the grounds along Loop 250. Our mission is to educate and inspire people to help us have a beautiful and clean Midland. The first tip on trash cleanup is to bag it, tie it, and trash it because trash can oftentimes blow away. Whenever you discard trash that is either from your car or for your home, be sure and tie those, those um, strings up because any trash that gets away from that container becomes litter. That's the definition of litter right there. Womack says the litter up in trees, snagged in shrubs, and even caught in fences isn't something you want to look at in your community. Our education and our inspiration really involves prevention. Um, not having litter on the ground in the first place is the best way to have a clean community. To keep Midland and the Permian Basin beautiful, she says it's as simple as keeping a litter bag in your car or even helping out during a walk. Take a bag with you and pick up litter along the way. Um, those things are little things that can make a huge impact. Rather than assuming that litter cleanup is someone else's job, there is hope that community members will take the initiative to help. If you're able to just personally, you know, know that you're not going to throw trash out the window, that you're um, going to make certain that the rest of your family members do the same thing, that you tie your bags, that you close the lid, that you do whatever you can do personally for a clean and beautiful Midland, um, it's going to be a great year. Doreen says that having a clean community is achievable if you follow some of these steps. For more information on how to get involved, just check out yourbasin.com. Reporting live in studio, Bridget Sarpong, ABC, Big 2 News.